Hello, welcome on to my channel. Today, we are continuing our lecture with architecture of database. So let's start. As we know that database source very large and the critical kind of an information, we are trying to help. We are trying to access the data very quickly and securely. So for easy and efficient data management, we have to select the architecture of the DBMS. A database architecture is nothing but the representation of the DBMS design. It helps to design, develop, implement, and maintain the database management system. The DBMS architecture allows dividing the database system into the individual component that can be independently modified as per the requirement, changed, replaced, or altered. The database management architecture will help us to understand the different components of the database system and interrelation between them. It depends on the computer system on which it will run. Also, it depends on how users are connected to the database to get their request done. Since the database management system is not always directly accessible by the user or an application, we can maintain it with the help of various architecture based on how user is connected to the database. Depending on this, the architecture is going to be divided. This architecture follows a tire best classification. That is, DBMS architecture is classified depending on how many layers are present in the structure of the, of the DBMS. Based on that, there are the three types of the DBMS architecture, that is single tire, two tire, and a three tire architecture. In a single tire, there is only one layer in between the end user and the DBMS, or you can say that the DBMS resides on a single machine. In a two tire architecture, it's follow the client server architecture. And over here, the extra application layer is available in between server and client. We will be just see it one by one in detail. So let's start. Firstly, we are going to just see a one tire architecture. This is the overview of how one tire architecture works. Here it is an user. This one is nothing but you can say the server or where your database resides. In this architecture, the database is directly available towards the user. That is, in between, there is an, a direct connection in between the user and the database. User can directly sit on a database that is it within a one computer system, the server and the database is available and that is accessible by the end user directly. Any changes done here will directly be done on the database itself. It does not provide any kind of an, a handy tools or any kind of an information. So, uh, in a one tier architecture is used for the development of the local applications where programmers can directly communicate with an, a database for an, a quick response. In, a, in one tier or a single tier architecture, we can be change the uh, we can use this one whenever data is not going to be changed frequently. But here, as we have just seen, the user can be directly communicate with a database, which when we resides on the server. So multiple users are not able to access the same database at the same time. We need a direct and simple way to modify or access the database for the application development. Let's see one example of a single tire DBMS architecture. So let's consider uh, for learning the, uh, that is SQL structure query language, we set up the SQL server and the database on our local system. Whenever we are learning or we are just trying to make any kind of an, a program, this one is on a user, this is on a programmer. 
This SQL Server enables this user to directly interact with all database and execute the certain operations without requiring any kind of an internet connection. The whole setup to learn the SQL queries is nothing but the example of the single tiger DBMS architecture. Whatever the programming or the coding is done by the user that the server and the SQL server and the application is available in this computer and this computer directly communicate with an end user. So this is the example of single tire architecture. This is the very simplest kind of an DBMS architecture that is and all the component that is server, database, client resides only on a single system. We can directly access the database with a single handed it um, it is used most but uh, most probably it is very very useful when there are no frequent changes will be required and why it is uh, useful it is mainly suitable for the programmers or the database designer or single user access now next so all this one i have just mentioned over here um, it, uh, the data, it is used whenever the data is not going to be changed frequently. No multiple users can access the data at the same time. We need a direct and a simple way to modify or access the database for the application development. Now, second one, it is the two-tier architecture. In the two-tier architecture, the database system is present at the server machine and the DBMS application is present on the client machine. This one is on a client or you can say it is an end user. This one is on a server where your database system is actually present. Client means a user. User is using some kind of an application. So whenever you require, that means application and user is on one side and the database or the server is on the another side. In this way, there are the two tires or the two layers are formed. And that's why it is called as a two tire architecture. This and uh, that's why it is also called as the basic client server architecture also. In this Two-tier architecture, the application on the client side can directly communicate with a database at the server side. For this interaction, some kind of an APIs like ODBC or JDBCs are used. Um, these two machines are connected through, um, in, a, in this kind of an two-tier uh, two architecture, the DBMS application, which one is present at the client side, and uh, these two machines are interconnected to the reliable network that will not require for an, a single tiger architecture. Next slide. So this one is uh, how the structure is carried out. So all these client one, client two, client three, these are, you can say, the clients available. And here is an, a server, server where your database is available so whenever the client want to do any kind of an uh, modification to access the database first of all it is uh, we have to carry out this one with the help of some kind of an uh, api is called that means the uh, they are directly communicate but through the help of the api the server is responsible here, the user interface and the applications program, you can say, run on the client side. And the server side is responsible to provide the functionalities like query processing and the transaction management. Uh, to communicate with a database, a client side application establishes a connection that is called as an API call with a server side. The main advantage of having the two-tier architecture over a single tire is that you, you can see over here, at the same time, the n number of n users can be accessed the database at the same time. It has a high processing ability as the database functionality is handled by the single server. And you will be getting a faster access of a database due to a direct communication between a client and a server, and hence it can be improved the performance. Because of the two independent layers, it is very, very easy for the maintenance also. 
So all this one is just explained over here. That is to entire architecture. This is the another way that how we can be communicate with the with the two tire architecture. So let's see one example. This one is an example of the two tire architecture. Consider a situation where you want to, uh, where you went to a bank to withdraw some cash. After entering, uh, this one is the accountant over here. After entering the withdrawal amount, the account details on the withdrawal slip, the banker will go through the server side database via his credential. That is just credit, that is just carried out with an API call and will check whether there is an enough balances present or not. This client server model is the example of any two tire architecture. That is here accountant will be queued. Uh, this kind of, an, this one is an accountant which will be check out the bank balance. Bank balance is available on the server to just check this one. We are using the API. That is accountant will fetch the information from the uh, server sir, uh, through the API call. This is the example of the two tire architecture. Now, the last one is nothing but a three tire architecture. As its name suggests, the three tire means here the three systems or the three layers are present. Which are these three layers? Obviously, there are the previous two are available as it is, that is client and a server. But here in the two tire architecture, we have seen that the client can directly communicate with an a server. But this is not possible within the three tire architecture. There is one another layer is added in between server and a client side that is called as an application layer. In the three tire architecture, another layer is present between a client machine and a server machine. The client application does not communicate directly with a database system present at the server machine. Rather, the client application communicate with an a server application and the server application internally communicate with an a database. This is an a server. This one is an a client. At the client side, you the end user is here, which is using some kind of an application. So for working on this application, if you want some kind of an a database, the user cannot be communicate directly with an a database, but first of all, it has to be communicate with this application server. This application server communicate with an a database, then reverse kind of any communication will be carried out by the towards the end user. So here the three layers will be coming to the picture. This one is another view that how the communication is carried out. So you can say this is nothing but the one of the, you can say the client layer or it is nothing but also called as an, a presentation layer. This one is an application layer and this one is the server layer. So whenever the client required to access the server, first of all, it have to communicate with an application layer application layer communicate with a server and then your query or process is complete. That means client directly not communicate with a server. The end user has no idea and due to this one, the application on a client side interacts with the application server for the further communicate with a database system. And that's why the end user has no idea about the existence of a database beyond the application layer. The database also has no idea about the any of the user beyond the application layer. So this will be acts as a wall in between a client and a server. You have to communicate through this application layer. This is the compulsion. So this is all about the three tire architecture. In most of the cases, we are preferring to go with a three tire architecture. Any kind of an e-commerce site that is on a flip card like this one, these are the best examples of the three tire architecture. Why we have uh, always we are adopting or choosing the three tire architecture is just because of some of the advantages of an a three tire architecture. The first one is nothing but an a scalability. Since the database server is not aware about any of the user beyond application lab, 
And that's why the application layer implements all kinds of other things that is load balancing. There can be as many as clients you can want. So many of the users can be access the database at the same time, which will be improve the system performance. Next is nothing but another data integrity. Data corruption or bad requests can be avoided because of a checks performed by the application layer on each client request. For each and every request, application layer first of all check out that is this one is an authorized user, the request is carried out, is this an authenticate one or not. And if the, it will be authenticate, then and then only it is going to be processed. And hence, you can be handled the data correction and bad request at that layer only. And the very important over here is an security. The direct we. The, any of the user is not going to be directly communicate with an uh, with the server. That's why we will be put some kind of an uh, restriction on the direct communication. Uh, uh, the removal of an a uh, direct connection between a client and server system via the abstraction this can reduces the unauthorized access to the database. So. This one is nothing but we can say some kind of a comparison between a one-tier architecture, two-tier architecture, and three-tier architecture. So in a one-tier architecture, the all component that is on a server, database, clients, all are present on a single system. Here, there is the uh, one layer is available uh, between the server and client. That means the two layers, one is client side, another is the server side, and that's why it is called as a two-tier architecture. And here, in between the client side and server side, another layer, that is application layer, is used. So it follows the client application server architecture. In a two-tier application, it is a client and server application. All this one is, um, uh, is uh, available for the DBMS. So for the conclusion, we can say that the DBMS architecture describes the structure and how the users are connected to a specific database system. Architecture affects on the performance of the database system. In a single tier architecture, all the components of the DBMS resides on a single server. It is the most straightforward approach. In a two tier architecture, the client server approach is implemented in a three-tier DBMS architecture is the extension of a two-tier architecture where an intermediate layer that is application layer is added in between client and server. It is most widely used architecture. Hope you will be just understand the DBMS architecture. So this one is all for the today's session. Thank you.